Good morning and welcome to another Bello Motorcycles video. Today I'm really pleased to present this lovely late 2011 Yamaha Tineer 660. This bike has only covered 4,800 miles from new. Certainly hasn't seen any off-road. It's in really beautiful condition. So a quick walk round of the bike and then I'll go over in more detail. This has had a fortune spent on it on extras. Um, which I'll show you. So this thing is equipped to go around the world no problem. So these bikes have been described as the Swiss army knife of all bikes. Basically they will do anything. They will go anywhere. No problem at all. They're quite capable of doing some gnarly off-road stuff or you can go touring on them. Motorways, commuting, basically the world's your oyster. So let's look over this bike in more detail. So there's no signs of damage or scratches on the bike. All the paintwork is lovely. There's a couple of marks I will point out a little bit later in the video. Let's first of all walk round. So it's had the headlamp grille fitted, which obviously is expensive. I really like this idea. They have a loop here. So if you do get stuck off road, you can be towed out. All the forks and everything, just beautiful condition as you can imagine with that mileage. It's had a really expensive set of SW Motec full engine protection, so not only upper but lower. It's also got the expensive SW Motec bash plate. So now we walk around here. It's got a pair of sexy Leo Vince rear cans on it which are a fortune. It also has a lowering kit fitted, which is easily rectified if you want to, but I'm 6'2 and it's absolutely fine with, uh, with me on it, so I don't see the need for putting it to the back to the height, but if you want to, uh, just move it a bit. You can either um, get it put back or just change the preload and it will lift the bike up a bit. It's got a center stand, which they don't come with, which is always handy. Oh, I love these cans, I love that look. So it's got a Tourtec rear plate on it for carrying luggage. They've, they've uh, cut the kickstand down a bit because it's been lowered, but obviously you can buy a second hand one of them if you do put it up to ride height, or you could probably use that one. I mentioned the full engine protection. We have bark busters which are not cheap so they've gone for the best with these just to protect your levers if you did drop it when you're going off road but she's in absolutely stunning condition they've also dropped the height of the forks which is easily rectified again just undo the brackets and they just pull up so that's not a problem so yeah engine bodywork it's just immaculate. The wheels, just gorgeous. It's like a brand new bike. It really is. Um, there's a chip in the paint here, tiny chip and a chip here. And what that is, is where they've obviously lowered the bike too much. And then obviously they've tried riding it or moved it and they realized they'd lowered it. It's just the handlebars caught. But apart from that, this bike hasn't got a mark on it. So, if you want to bag yourself the Swiss Army knife of all bikes, you won't go far wrong with a Yamaha 660 Tanier. I love them. So, if you're uh, interested in buying the bike, give me a call 07795 433 if you want to put a deposit down or arrange nationwide contact delivery, that can be done as well. Thank you for watching.